the bear. Let's bring out the line first. Richard Champion, champion by name, champion by the way he plays the game. Very fit, very focused on this. He'll have to be, he's got a good opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, two Queenslanders coming out the first one, Richard Champion. Billy Moore, love Queensland. As he walked down the dressing room, he used to say, Queenslander, Queenslander, Queenslander. Plays for North Sydney. When he played football, his eyes were as big as dinner plates. They used to light up. He's as tough as teeth. He's ready to go. Billy Moore. Billy Moore making his way to the ring there. Richard Champion already in there. Two very fit boys here, Bobby. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. Well, very evenly take a look matched at the tail here. Of the tape. You see that Richard Champion's a little bit taller. He's also a bit lighter. He's three years older. Billy Moore, the pride of uh, Malulaba in Queensland. He's one of those guys that's under the uh, super agent, uh, Jimmy Bennigan, who told me that all of his fighters would win. Well, Gilmeister's done it. Moore has to do it. We'll see what Mel Meninga can do with Jack Gong. Well, Just have a look at these two guys. They are fit. They are rippling with muscles at the moment. I just It's quite amazing to see these two guys after retiring. Being so fit, I think uh, Billy is involved with the local surf life saving club. And... I know that uh, Richard also goes out and does a lot of tri triathlons, so these two guys are going to go the distance. Well, the cardiovascular is working for them. It's just how much time they put into the spa sessions now to see which one stands up and can keep sucking in the breaths, the air, a little bit longer than the other. But they should be able to punch. They're still big men, aren't they? Well, they certainly are, and I'll tell you one thing. Anybody that's tuned in to see boxing has seen, they've seen a knockout, they've seen a TKO, they've seen a decision. What more can you ask for? This is sanctioned by the Australian Amateur Boxing Association as well as the Queensland Amateur Boxing Association. Three rounds, oh. two minutes, 16 ounce gloves. They're wearing the headgear in the red. As you take a look at champion in the blue is Billy Moore. Two tough guys, and as you heard the boys say, Dermot and uh, E.T., they're very fit. Right away, champion goes to the head of Billy Moore. Billy Moore right back with a light left hook to the side of the head of champion. Champion holding the hands high. That's champion to the left of your screen in the red trunks, bouncing up and down. It's more on the assault, digging to the This is just round one action. It's fast and furious in the early going here. Now Moore slows it down, tries to pick his shot to land the big right hand. Instead he goes to the left hand lead that tied up and the referee says break. One of the few times you've heard the referee have to do anything. These guys have come to fight, not the walls. Champion a little bit tentative as he holds his chin high as he goes in. That's a dangerous thing to do because the hook of Moore can flatten him if he holds that chin too high when he comes in unless he's throwing. Right there in the face is Billy Moore throwing the shot and right back is Champion. Champion in the red trunks now facing you. He wants to get that jab out. He doesn't want to wait. He paws away with the right hand. He's waiting a little bit. Wow, with that left hand as it sails across the nose that time of Champion. Champion right in front of his man goes with a nice straight stiff jab. Misses the right hand. Moore right back with a shot of his own. Moore to the right of your screen now says, come on, let's mix it up. You see the time remaining in the round. And it's Champion getting the best of Moore in that exchange. Moore stands flat-footed in front of him. Now he plods towards him, looking to throw the jab, and he finally does get the jab through. Big hook crashes to the right side of the head of Champion. Champion holding the heads high, hands high, and instead he gets nailed to the body. Good move by Billy Moore. Both the fighters are having a tendency to tilt their head backwards when they come in, and Richard Champion letting the hands drop after his first few flurries. Champion right, get nailed with right. a nice straight left hand there, Dermot, that uh, kind of rocked the head back. But part of the reason is exactly what you said. When they come in with their chins high, it's just a target too big not to hit because these are mountainous right. men. There's the bell, ending a good first round match. Bit of a smile on Billy Moore's face there, but I think he's that, that's the way he played footy, wasn't it, with a smile on his face. You get on the phone, 1902 268 001, and with a smile, donate so some kid has got a chance in this tough world. Or just call into McDonald's and buy one of the badges, just a dollar. And if you're getting change, if you buy something for $20 and you've got, it's only $16 uh, worth of food, well, hey, put those $4 <laughs> towards this worthy cause. Why not? Well, hey, Billy Moore, you played a bit of footy against him. I reckon you got uh, tackled by him a few times. He's one fit character. He was. He always played in the lock forward position, always a very fit player. Uh, one of the toughest sort of players in the game, a guy who'd do the distance. And uh, let's have a look at the way he went in here. Champs loads up with the right, he goes for the immediate exchange and then tries to come in over the top with a right on each, each exchange. This was the opening flurry from Billy. Not really losing too much leather on him there, Bob, but uh, it looked good for a while. It took a bit of wind out of them, so we might get a few through the defence here. And uh, 
see a few of the points tick over. Well, I'll tell you, you've seen just about everything that you can see in amateur boxing. Remember, the NRL leads two to one. Kennedy had a victory for the AFL, and uh, Geyer and uh, uh, Gilmeister had victories for the rugby league. So this is round number two. Again, it's scheduled for three in the red trunks as champion. Billy Moore attacking. Nailed with a good shot to the head. Gets a smile from champion. But that isn't what you want to do in boxing. Champion tries to tie up, and he has to. I've got a feeling the first person to go downstairs to the uh, stomach area is going to get a big advantage here because they just lean in and expose both their stomachs. But you guys know as athletes yourself that when you see a guy's chin, all you want to do is bang on it. <laughs> and, and that's what, you know, control violence is all about. Right. These guys are learning to be fighters. They were great athletes both in rugby and football, and now they're trying to be fighters. And I'll tell you this, what they lack in technical ability, they certainly don't lack in heart. These guys are really doing a great job for a great cause. Round two of a scheduled three-round affair. Billy Moore in blue, champion in red, with Billy having it his way right there. He's really rocking the shot. Off the jump, wild right back as champion, though. Now it's turned into a bit of a wrestling match. Referee has to separate them one of the few times again in the course of the evening. You know, I'm very, very impressed by the the good boxing we've seen throughout the course of the night. It's been fantastic. These two guys have got blood in their eyes, though. They're, they're really going hard at it. Uh, they certainly want to make sure they for their codes that they put on a good show, and they're doing that right now. Well, they're both fit because when Billy Moore will get something through, Champion looks kind of awkward covering himself up, but, you know, he has the heart because he comes right back throwing leather. Now this time, Moore again puts that head back, but look at Champion, wow, with the right hand. The uppercut gets inside. He doesn't quite get the body like uh, Dermot wants. Right back upstairs, a little bit of a body shot. And now, is Moore out of gas? No, he's not. Back to the head, down to the body, upstairs again. Bangs him. Now he steps back to get a bit of breath. This is round two, actually. They got a whole round to go, and the bell hits round two. Good action. This is a good fight, isn't it? Richard Champion sticking him up there. Billy Moore kind of landing him through there. And he is sucking in big time there, Richard Champion, and doing a great job for the charity you see appearing on your screen there. Fight for life. Absolutely, these two guys are really going hard at it. It's tremendous that these athletes are coming out here. I mean, they're not just here for the, for the sake of it. It's great entertainment, and they're putting it on for charity. And just have a look at these two guys go. They dig, aren't they? <laughs> they are having a real dig. And I thought the champs was going to try and give him a backflip. <laughs> I thought he was going to try and put him on the canvas and pin him for a three count. I think champs might have won the first round, but I, I'll, I'll give that one to uh, Billy Moore. I thought he came back pretty strong. So here comes the deciding round, the third one coming up. It's going to be interesting. So I'll tell you, boys, I'm highly impressed. Dean Lonergan has done a super job putting this together. The people from McDonald's, uh, the Fight for Life people, and what a great job uh, your company, Channel 9. I'm highly impressed. The athletes, they're speaking for themselves. They're doing a super job out there. Here we go. Round number three. This is the third and final round of this battle between Richard Champion and Billy Moore. Moore have slightly out in front, and this is one. The way you get him, though, champion, is to throw, not catch. And he does it! How about this? The crowd is to life here, I want to tell you. Round three action. Boy, it's hard to believe these are average fighters. And look at champion come back. After a tough second round, I thought Billy was uh, really strong. And now it's appeared that he's just a little bit gassed. And champion's got a little bit left in his tank. Boy, a good round of boxing, I'll tell you. You see the time remaining, just about a minute to go, and this one's still up for grabs. Good fight on her hands, this one. Third round of the fourth bout tonight. Richard Champion just looking to finish a little bit fresher than his counterpart here. And he really needs it because that'll even the whole thing up. It'll make the AFL two and the Rugby League two. And what could be better going to our final fight of the night? 43 seconds to go in this one. And Champion wants to really turn the heat up now to try and get the judges, but they're both gassed. They've worked so hard through the first, uh, well, the first five minutes of the fight, and uh, now there's only about 30 seconds to go, and they're really gassed, both of them now. Who wants it the most, guys? Champion takes that little walk and just that uh, headgear. More waiting, and here comes Champion trying to get the final scoring of the judges, but he's getting more as Champion puts the head down and scores. Boy, these are two consummate professionals that do not know how to quit. Look at this. 
Wow, what a shot. There's more, but he's on the assault. Champion trying to get his breath, and he is gasses. The bell ends the fight. Hey, they left nothing on the table. They gave it all. And listen to the reaction of the crowd. Oh, what a good fight we had on our hands there, ET. Absolutely a fantastic fight. The guys couldn't have done any better than that. They gave it their all and for, for charity. What a magnificent effort for these guys. What we're doing now, we'll, we'll stay with it. We'll wait for the uh, judges' decision here. As we see Billy Moore getting his headgear off. We'll get a, a side of the final action here. Ooh, and left there hand there on Champs' chin. Rocked him back. And Billy follows up repeatedly. And Champs covered up pretty well there. This was a good fight. Two big guys just gave their all. Dermy, these guys got, have got a lot at stake. Obviously, uh, all their mates in the AFL and all their mates in the rugby league, they don't want a cop stick. They've put in, they've put in a great effort. But the winner will be able to go and, you know, he'll be able to go and brag a little bit to his mates. So I think he'll be a bit happy. Oh, no doubt about that. And the ref calling them into the centre of the ring now. And I think we're just waiting on the judges to hand over their scorecards. Billy's in the centre there. The champs is there. And the scorecards are with Daryl East Lake now. He's making his way to the centre of the ring. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what about what a performance from both of them. Again, a very, very close decision. But it's gone to the blue corner and Billy Moore. Well, a great result for the NRL. It's going to be a tough one now. The rugby league guys have won three. We've got a big match coming up.